Good evening. My name is Brighthops, and welcome back to Mordheim, City of the Damned. We have two new recruits to introduce this time around. I haven't been contacted by either for information about what color schemes they would desire, but until they do, I would like to introduce you to Michael Vitza and Ben da Davy. As we can clearly see, Michael Vizza is a young blood, and you may also have noticed that Miss Lana and Captain Cyclone have been are un currently undergoing some training, and the Wardstone that we had saved up is currently missing. Now, the Wardstone itself, I have used, I've sent as a shipment in order to earn some extra cash in a cup in a day or so so that we could give our two heroes the training they need. Namely, Captain Cyclone is currently learning how to move around easier in heavy armor, and Miss Alana is learning the, the ability Sidestep, which will allow her to have two dodge actions instead of just one, which can be quite useful if she goes up against someone who can attack multiple times or gets teamed up on. But yes, also, a fun discovery with the Youngblood, as I looked into their skills, the Youngblood has an ability called Squire's Curse, which basically just means that if they do a normal melee attack, but if they hit, the target cannot switch weapons. This could be very useful if attacking su such as, say, a hero who's using a ranged weapon since they would not be able to swap to a melee to properly defend themselves, for at least a turn, for a turn at least. But anyway, let us see where things go today. Mr. Trousers learned, two warriors are receiving treatment, two are training, and we've gained a blunderbuss! Hello, let's have a look at this, this little prize. I might as well give him a might as well give him a crossbow just for the sake of it. But who can use a blunderbuss? No, not not Mr. Troes. Let's have a look. We know he's got blunderbuss. Here we go. Fires a cone attack that affects allies and enemies. Does not require a target. Hmm. I might not equip that just yet, but but yes, let's see where we're going today. I kind of want to wait until we have Miss Lana and Miss Captain Cyclone back before we attempt the mission, so that gives us at least two days, two days before we commit to the actual story quest, so that gives us two more opportunities. Let's see, Haunt from the Dark. Haunt from the Dark it's clearly it's a mark for death, but it's both warbands are scattered randomly around the a the area. We've seen this kind of thing before, though don't think we've seen both teams at once. We all st hmm. Well, it's the on truth be told, it's the only one that has halfway decent word stone and Kind of Just as you were closing to engage a rival warband, the horrific manifestation of the ghostly town crier causes both groups of warriors to flee in terror. As the apparition fades away, your warriors recover their courage. Scattered in their fright, your warband is spread out across the ruins, but so too are your enemies. Okay, I'm not sure if it made it on the recording, but I believe there was a file on that was just triggered. So, if it's not on the recording, that's fine, but let's just go, shall we? Well, if there's one bonus to having everyone scattered around, it is that I don't actually need to place anyone. And we are up against the Sisters of Sigma this time around. Ah yes, one of the benefits of the of the whole 
starting at random is that until you have your first turn, you by default start in... I believe it's dodge. I believe it's a dodge stance. Ouch. That one, that hurt a little bit, but let's see if we can return the favor. Okay. Two things we need to figure out. One, where the stone is. Ooh, it's right it's behind us there, okay. Two targets. Well, there's one. We can spe spy one of them. Let's see, who else? Not seeing one of the, any of the others just yet. Ah, yes, the subject I wanted to talk about today. Well, I, I know that people wanted to hear about dwarves and elves, and after the war, war of the Beard, I decided that it would be a good time to bring up probably one of the most important elves in the setting, Malakath. However, in, he's got a fair yeah. bit of a story behind him. But before, I found that, as I was researching him, to better understand Malakath a bit, one also has to understand his fa his father, who his father, King Erwin. If I believe that's how it's pronounced. Don't I believe that's how it's pronounced. To to start off with the elves, this goes originally. The elves had... The elves were only ruled by an Everqueen. An Everqueen. Basically, they had a, they had a royal family of a queen, and they, st and they stayed with that. How, however, during the early, early days of... Ouch. During the early days of... The world, I'm, and I mean, this is like six thousand plus years ago. That there was, there was a chaos incursion. Two, two deep, two warp portals at the poles of the world were torn open, and resulted in demons basically flooding the world, as well as various other. Fun little creatures, like... Fun little creatures such... Oh, hello, this is our target. Fun creatures such as the Beastmen. But... For a long time, the elves were getting slaughtered. They were... Yes, it wasn't that they didn't have a military, it was just... They were not prepared for... Something like this. No one really was. So they tried to fight back, but they were getting... They were caught off guard and they were being being hunted down like dogs. Erwin Cole was a tr world traveler at the time. And he ended up going to the main... Ended up going to the temple of their... God, give me a second just to make sure I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, my apologies, I don't... Uh, let's see. Now, where was it? Where did I have it? Uh, damn it, I, I had it in my notes somewhere, but I appear to have mispla misplaced my notes on the, God, on the actual God's name. But... The god in question was the, pretty much the head of the elven... Pretty much the head of the elven pantheon. Who wasn't so inclined to do anything because of checks and, bal checks and balances. You know how divi divinity is. But... Let's see, where is... Ah, uh, there's... Wait, no, that's my own blood. Where the hell is Trevor? 
is you. Ah, there you are. Not who I was aiming for, but we'll do. He went to the god to ask for help. And while at first he wasn't he didn't receive any, the god he then proceeded to step into the holy f into the holy fire of the deity that was in his temple. It was a sacrificial blaze. Sa said god decided to reward him reward him for his a new actions. Round has started. And in imbued him with with whole, with divinity to a degree. He th then proceeded to leave the temple and started curb stomping demons like nobody's business. And he was so, he was incredibly good at it too. He managed he was incredibly good at it too. He managed to rally other elves and he managed to save the Evan Queen of the time. He managed to rescue her from certain death. The two of them fell in love, and Scott ended up getting married. They also put in they put in a variety of there were a variety of rules that came with the position of Everqueen and Phoenix and the Phoenix King, which was the position that the first that Eowyn was originally was the first one to gr be granted. He was the first Phoenix King. But at some point, demon, a demon incursion managed to attack the city that the Evan Queen was currently staying in. There was a complete massacre, and everyone believed she and the children she had with Erwin were, had in fact died. Erwin <laughs> was, of course, really got really pissed off, and he ended up going <laughs> after going to visit the altar of the elven god of murder, Cain. He, while there, he picked up a holy weapon, that, a holy artifact in fact, that, is gi that was given that Cain has as he, at his altar, known as Widowmaker. <sighs> and I am sorry, Slythe, you just did not have a good run there. But... Yes, Widowmaker. Widowmaker is an interesting artifact in that in that it takes the form of whatever weapon the person who wants to take it is best suited to use. Like from what I can tell from its history, it's been a sword, it's been a sh it's been a lance, it's been an axe, it's been a, a number of things. Can we disengage? We could, but there isn't much point. Right, but the the problem. Widowmaker. Uh, God. That's three down. That this has not been a good run so far. But hopefully we can turn this around. But, but yes, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Widowmaker can, will give the person who wields it ridiculous fighting ability. However, the downside of it is it it some it curses its wielder. So I can get through there. It curses its wielder so that them and their future descendants will have a somewhat grim end. Of course, despite despite the fact that he, pretty much everyone knew about this price, King Erwin was willing to pay it because started. he was just that pissed off. He also ended up saving a a sorceress from demons, a sorceress by the name of Orathi. He she would become his second wife and was a pretty one of the most powerful sorceresses in the world. The two of them sort of went and founded themselves a city, and ended up... Well, it kind of... it was a very... not... I'm not gonna say unpleasant, but... 
I will say, I will say, it was a, it's it's very orgy based. It was one of those cities that it's one of those cities that, when you learn more about the dark elves, it was sort of like the precursor to that. But anyway, Eowyn ended up leading quite during the war, this original war with the de with the de demon and cords. Eowyn, a friend of his, a, sor a sorcerer by the name of Kellek, I may be mispronouncing his name, but he came up with a plan. They quit. He came to realize that in order for demons to basically be able to exist in the material world, they needed an influx of chaos, or at least magic to a degree. And he figured out a way in order to drain, to find a way to drain that from the world. And he ultimately created a, got some of the best magic users the, the elves had at the time. And started a major wit ritual. That basically kind of removes them from time in a I have no mouth but I must scream kind of fashion. How, however, because of their sacrifice... The world has just the world. It the, the world has a basically a drain of excess magic, and because of that of it, it allowed the it allowed it basically ended the demon incursion because they no longer had pretty much the thing, pretty much the substance that gave them life, and if uh, what it turned what was originally a endless foe. Into some in something more manageable it allows them to regain ground. Unfortunately, King Eowyn never got to see the, got to see this for himself, simply because he ended up being killed in one of the final battles by demonomic by demonic representatives of the four chaos gods. So, a new round has started. Much to the surprise of everyone, just after the war started to, after the war died down, was that the Evan Queen and her, the ch and her children weren't actually dead. They had managed to survive, and this created something of somewhat sort of created problems, since. King Eowyn had had a child with Marathi called Malakath. And no after a year of mourning the the death of the king, of the Phoenix King, they had to come up with a way of how of figuring out what happens now. So what the the solution that the elves came up with was Somewhat elegant. There are official, technically two rulers of el of high elven kind. There is the Phoenix King and the Ever Queen. The, f the Ever Queen is hereditary. The se is hereditary. They will have the current Ever 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 Queen will have a daughter, and she will take over when her mother passes away. But the Phoenix King is an elected position. They, what they, the solution they came to was to have uh, that was to have the the various Elven princes of of who were alive at the time that needs that a new king is needed. They will basically vote. They'll get together and they will vote on who they think need, deserves to be. The Phoenix King, depending on the si on what the time the time period is and what they need as a ruler. A new round has started. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, that... oh, yes, you're the one who actually has filled up on stuff. Okay, but the interesting thing is the ev the Phoenix King does not actually need to be married to. The Ever Queen. As far objective completed. Objectives updated. The way that they 
have settled it is because they want to keep the line of queen unbroken, the way they do it is they set it up that when it, the Phoenix King is elected, he'll have a year where the Phoenix King and the Ever Queen will basically just spend it pretty much ensuring that there is a future Ever Queen. After that year, the Phoenix King and the Ever Queen will go back to their respective partners. But yes, where Melikath comes in. He was a rather powerful, a rather strong fighter in his own right, but he was a powerful sorcerer. And he was, to his credit, somewhat popular with a fair number of, number of his fellow elves. The thing was, the various princes were kind of worried because he had a very expansionistic kind of point of view. And they had just gotten out of a pretty big freaking war. And your warband morale is critically low. Oh, please don't break. Damn it! So close. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, let's let's see what the damage is. I saw a dwarf floundering in the Reich once. He learned to swim pretty damn quick. You had better learn too. Because a man can drown in defeat the same as he can in water. Damn it. Let's see. Fortunate return. Full recovery. There's one. Defeat fortune return. Amnesia. Not great. And he lost an experience point, but... Yeah. Them's the breaks. Okay, the gods are with you. We have a level up, so it's not all bad. Open wounds. Truth be told, I don't actually know what this does. What this actually does, but... Another amnesia. Great. Michael Vischer makes a comeback. Also, Gobbs gets amnesia. And Ben Davy survived. We... Okay, I'm gonna have to check just how many people in this warband have... At... How many have had amnesia? Hold on. I'm just curious. To see... You're fine. You haven't, but you've got a muck. You're fine. What? We have one with amnesia? Two? Fine. Three? Four? You haven't? You're good. Five? You've got a twice? I'm not... Gonna make that six. But, yeah. Technically, five people out of our... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Out of 11 people, five of them have had amnesia, one of them twice. What the hell? <sighs> but anyway, that will be it for this time around. A somewhat bitter defeat, but... Them's the break sometimes. Until next time, my name is Brightops, and I look forward to hearing from you. We...